Maybe someday we'll see a five-star recruit play for Georgia. I don't know if it's just me, but over the last few years, it seems like Kirby Smart always plays the wrong guy at the quarterback position. Because they have talent at literally every other position on the field, it has not seemingly affected them, but a lot of Georgia fans and a lot of people in the college football world have noticed that Kirby Smart cannot seem to pick the right guy. He's brought in blue chip after blue chip. Jacob Eason, Jake Fromm, Justin Fields, Gunnar Stockton, Carson Beck, Brock Vandegrift, and Dewan Mathis were all big time recruits, but the one guy who always seemingly comes trotting out is Stetson Bennett. No, he didn't play in the Fromm, Fields, and Eason era, but over the last two years, Stetson Bennett has been the guy for the Georgia program, and going into 2022, he's gonna be the starter once again. As many of you guys know, I love the Stetson Bennett story. He's a hard worker and he has earned everything that has been given to him. But to say he's the best quarterback in the Georgia quarterback room and that he has the most potential just doesn't seem to make any sense to me. There is five star after five star rolling into Athens each and every year, but every weekend Bennett comes trotting off onto the field. In today's video, I wanna talk about the whole quarterback situation going on at Georgia, give my thoughts on Stetson Bennett being the starter for next year, and we're gonna talk about some of the other guys who are gonna be sitting on the bench once again. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. When Kirby Smart moved from Alabama to Georgia, one of the first things he did was make sure that Jacob Eason was gonna stay committed to the dogs. Many worried that he would flip to Washington, but he convinced him to stay and he got a chance to start right away. He ended up having his first career moment against Missouri as he threw a fourth down touchdown strike and ended up beating them in that game. Then a couple weeks later, he threw a bomb to Riley Ridley and it looked like they were going to beat Tennessee. Instead, the Hail Mary happened and Georgia finished with a pretty disappointing year, but Easton was pretty good and you could tell all the potential was there for him. That's why he was named the week one starter going into 2017, but then he got hurt. Five-star recruit Jake Fromm would take over and he had a tremendous freshman year, which included a win over Notre Dame and he got them to the college football playoff. Fromm was the next big thing, but then he stagnated. He didn't get much better in 2018 and in 2019, he was not that great either. In that same time period, Jacob Eason had recovered from his injury and transferred to Washington, where he put up big numbers and was drafted in the fourth round. The other guy they brought in was Justin Fields, who you know was the number two player in the nation, was a superstar, and ended up being a Heisman Trophy finalist at Ohio State before becoming a first round pick. Fromm, on the other hand, went late in the draft to the Buffalo Bills, and after starting a game for the Giants last year, his NFL career looks like it'll be a backup at best, and many wonder if Fromm was ever the guy. 2020 is when the quarterback situation got really weird as they originally brought in Jamie Newman from Wake Forest, but he opted out and went undrafted, and then they brought in JT Daniels from USC. As many of you know, Daniels was a former five-star from Matter Day, and after having an up-and-down freshman campaign, Daniels got hurt in 2019 before he transferred to Georgia looking to save his career. This is when the critics got the loudest about Kirby Smart's handling of quarterbacks, as after Dewan Mathis was terrible in the first half against Arkansas, Stetson Bennett came in and won the game. He started the next couple of weeks, but when they played Alabama, he could barely see over the offensive line, and they got killed. Finally, later on in the year, they let Daniels play, and he looked pretty good. It finally looked like Georgia was going to have a quarterback that could bring them to the next level, as Daniels was a Heisman sleeper for 2021, and many saw him as a potential first round talent in the draft. That is not what would end up happening though, as something went on with Daniels last year as he battled some sort of mysterious injury, and going into their matchup against Kentucky, Kirby Smart had this to say to the media, quote, I'm not going to get much into any hypotheticals, we're trying to get JT back. He was much improved this last week, and for the game, he was able to throw a lot more than he was the prior week. He's going to throw again today, even though it'll be a much lighter day. We will look at seeing how and when he'll be able to play, but I'm not going to get into that. Not only does Kirby Smart usually pick the wrong quarterback, but he is always extremely unclear on what is going on. If JT Daniels was out for the entire year, why didn't he just come out and say it? If he was struggling behind the scenes and not playing well, I can somewhat understand why he wouldn't tell the media that but it just always seemed that there was never any clarity on the situation, as he would say injury, but never go into any detail about that. Because of that, we saw JT Daniels ride the bench, and he went with his favorite player. No, it wasn't Carson Beck, the highly recruited high school kid, or Brock Vandegrift, the five-star phenom from in-state. It was instead the guy we all knew was gonna come out, Stetson Bennett. On the bench at the time, you had four-star recruit Carson Beck, incoming five-star recruit Brock Vandegrift, 
and former five-star recruit JT Daniels, who just finished last season doing really well. Bennett ended up becoming the starter and led by a one-two punch in James Cook and Zamir White in one of the best defenses of all time, Georgia ended up plowing through the regular season schedule and won a national title. Stetson Bennett was good enough to get the job done as he made a couple of good throws in the title game and they ended up winning. But a lot of people forget he was exposed in the SEC championship game and he was never really that impressive throughout the whole year as every game was over by halftime and he was never really put in many high pressure situations where he had to make big plays or lead the team back to victory. Had Georgia have lost to either Michigan or Bama in the playoff, then people would be screaming for Stetson to be gone, but he did win the title and I gotta give him credit for that and it was an amazing story. But it's not over. Stetson Bennett decided he's gonna return for 2022 and according to what's coming out of Athens right now, it looks like Bennett's gonna be the starter for 2022. For a lot of college football fans, they just want to shake their head as they're just kind of tired of seeing this happen. But for people who follow recruiting very seriously, it's just annoying because there are so many good players sitting on the bench. When you take a look at the current room, it includes Carson Beck, who's apparently played very well this spring, incoming five-star recruit Gunnar Stockton, and then five-star recruit from 2021 Brock Vandegrift. Either scouts got these guys completely wrong or Kirby just does not want to play any of them. It's one thing not to play Stockton as a true freshman, but Vandegriff and Beck should be far enough in their development to play right now, and there's no reason why the quarterback battle is not between those two. While Stetson did win a title, his ceiling is really not that high, and Georgia fans will come at me in the comment section, but I think you guys all know deep down, you want to see someone else at that quarterback spot. I already know that Stetson's going to end up starting the whole year, and maybe George will get back to the playoff, maybe they won't, but he's going to start the remainder of the year, and he'll finally be done in 2023 at least. From there, there'll probably be a three-man quarterback battle between Beck, Stockton, and Vandegrift, but then things really change if Arch Manning decides to go there. While I don't think that'll end up happening, I don't see a world in which Manning should consider going there. If you're a five-star quarterback and you go to Georgia, you know you're not going to play. I swear if Bennett came back for 2023 and Manning was on the roster, Kirby would go with Bennett instead, and it's just a crazy situation. But maybe I'm just hating or being overdramatic, so I want to know what you guys think. If you're a Georgia fan, do you want Stetson Bennett to be the starter this year? If not, who should it be? What do you think about the quarterback room going into next year? And what is your overall take on Kirby Smart's handling of quarterbacks? I definitely want to know down below. And before you go, don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe if you are new, and check out all my other videos on the end screen. Hope to see you guys again soon, but until next time, peace.